flow. You know, as we go through our daily lives, we can often have blinders on to the world around us. People are troubled by different emotional states and may not have the skills to deal with them. Yet, even when we're having a bad day, it's within our capacity to bring up positive emotions and make it just a bit better. Loving kindness is a meditation practice that develops the mental habit of getting out of ourselves and offering selfless love to others. This practice helps us open up our hearts to acceptance of others, just as they are. Psychology researcher Barbara Fredrickson conducted a study with a test group. They were asked to practice loving-kindness meditation every day for nine weeks. At first, the benefits were incremental, but in the end, she reported, the practice led to shifts in people's daily experience of a wide range of positive emotions, including love, joy, gratitude, contentment, even lessening of pain, even migraines. These shifts in positive emotions took time to appear and were not large in magnitude, but over the course of nine weeks, they were linked to increases in a variety of personal resources, including mindful attention, self-acceptance, positive relationships with others, and good physical health. They enabled people to become more satisfied with their lives and to experience fewer symptoms of depression. So let's try this. Get settled in. Take a breath really be here. And now let's bring to mind a loved one. This could be your best friend, a partner, a child, even a puppy. Just someone you have warm feelings for and you're not threatened by. Now bring them to mind and in your head or aloud if you're alone, say, may you be safe. May you be happy. May you be free of suffering. These three short phrases are incredibly powerful. They are a wish for that person, that animal, to be safe, to be happy, to be free of suffering. Very basic needs. And we can do this for ourselves as well. So let's take another breath. May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be free of suffering. This is an incredibly simple practice, but I do find that I use it in a lot of situations. And the more you use it, the more you'll find a very quiet sense of joy that comes with the practice. You have nothing to gain from this specifically, wishing someone else to be happy, but somehow it does transfer to them and it also transfers to us. So let me give you some examples of how to use this practice in your daily life. Maybe you're about to go into a meeting at the office and you know that someone in that meeting is going to be having some kind of a problem. You can sit in the meeting and as the person is speaking and telling what their problem is, you can silently say to yourself, may you be safe. May you be happy. May you be free of suffering. This puts you in a completely different mindset in how you're going to manage this person. It's very helpful if you're dealing with someone who's difficult. You can wish them well first, and it changes the way you approach them. It makes it easier to accept them because you kind of understand that maybe they're having a bad day. Maybe there's something else in their lives that is making them unhappy and simply wishing that they can be safe, they could be happy, they could be free of suffering, opens a lot of doors. Now, 
one of my favorite tricks when I'm waiting for my coffee in the coffee shop. Instead of checking my phone, I'll kind of look around the room and I'll look for people who maybe need a little boost and I will silently wish for them. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be free of suffering. Do the same thing in a traffic jam, in a crowded elevator, as you're walking down the street or maybe on the bus. Making this a regular part of your life is incredibly painless. And once it becomes a habit, it kind of becomes a game. And it can be a lot of fun. And believe me, very rewarding. So try it today as you go through your day and you encounter people, whether they're positive or negative people, whether they're just people that maybe need a little love, someone you pass by on the street. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be free of suffering. And I wish this for you as well. Thank you.